This is the Lectio Divina practice using the story of Mary and Martha. We live in a world full of distractions and marketing is constantly cloying and vying for our attention. We have employers, family, organizations that we belong to, all demanding constant attention and this story really is as relevant today as it was back then, maybe even more so. And when you think about it, uh, they didn't have social media, they didn't have 24 hour programming. So what I want you to do is to grab your Bible if you can, and if you can't, then you can print off this uh, page where I have the scripture. And what I hope that this practice will do for you is it's really easy to have this kind of preconceived notion about the story. We've heard it so many times with Mary and Martha. And I want you to just clear your mind and clear any opinions that you might have. And you may be surprised after doing this Lectio Divina practice of how you may gain some different insights from this passage. So this story is in Luke chapter 10 verses 38 through 42 and I'm going to read the passage for you and I want you to just listen for a word or a phrase that stands out to you. Now as they went on their way, he entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by many tasks so she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. So again, what phrase or sentence stood out for you? Then read the text again. What is God saying to you? Read the text again and ask yourself, how is God inviting you to respond? Is there something you need to change? Then sit quietly in God's presence. Wait, listen, and let go of your own words to hear what God says to you. I hope that you find this very valuable. I recommend that you do a Lectio Divina on just a small section of verses rather than an entire chapter. And I would love to hear how this has worked out for you if you found this very rewarding to learn how to meditate on scripture.